Hello everyone, this is Grade 3, Module 7, Lesson 18, Homework. The directions for this first part state, shade in squares on the grid below to create as many rectangles as you can with an area of 18 square centimeters, meaning the inside measurement. So I'm going to do a couple of these, and I think the easiest one to do uh, is going to be just 18 in a row. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Of course, it's the whole thing. So I'm going to shade this in. And I know uh, that my dimensions for this, I went one box down and I went 18 long. Uh, and I could add my centimeters here just to show. So that's my first one. And uh, the area for this is 1 times 18 will get me 18. So my next one, um, I'm trying to think of factors, and I know 2 can go into it because 2 and 9. So I want to count over 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm going to color that. And I know that I need two groups of them, so I'm going to color in a second group of 9. And then when I do my quick uh, dimensions on it, I had 2 centimeters, because 1, 2, and then 9 centimeters on the top. So 2 times 9 equals 18. And again, it's 18 square centimeters, just like it was up here. And then the last one I can kind of think of here, uh, I know that 6 goes into it. So I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I know if I count by 6's or do 3 times that, I'm going to end up with 18 as well. That was not good. I colored way outside the box. There we go. So now uh, I have 3 centimeters by 6 centimeters. And I know 3 centimeters times 6 centimeters equals 18 square centimeters. So now let's take a look um, at the bottom. Find the perimeter of each rectangle in problem 1 above. So now I'm just trying to figure this out. And I have 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. I know that that's six, and I know that that's three because opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. If this is two, this is two. If this is nine, this one's nine. And the same thing up above. If this is one, this is one. And if this is 18, this one's 18. And then I could go ahead and add those up. And I'm going to leave that to you. So let's go to page two. Okay. Uh, number three says, Estimate to draw as many rectangles as you can with an area of 20 square centimeters. Label the side lengths of each rectangle. So now what I'm trying to think of is different ways I can make 20. I know that I can do, uh, and when I say make 20, I'm talking about area, so I'm talking multiplication. What times what gets me 20? And I know I can do 1 times 20. I know I can do 2 times 10. 3 can't go into it, but 4 can. I got 4 times 5. And that's about it. Uh, unless you can come up with another one. But now I'm just going to draw these rectangles. So I'm going to make this one really long and skinny. And this is going to be 1 centimeter by 20 centimeters. That's this one. Then maybe one that's a little bit wider, but not quite as long. That'll be 2 centimeters by 10 centimeters. 
And then one that looks uh, even shorter, but uh, that's be four, and this will be five. So now I have my dimensions. Uh, and I know that the areas, if I do one times 20, I get 20 centimeters squared or square centimeters. And I'll actually write that in. Um, and I'll abbreviate. Uh, and I have 2 times 10. 2 times 10 is 20 square centimeters because I can't just keep it as centimeters because I'm doing centimeters times centimeters. And they have to be square centimeters because we're looking to see how many square centimeters we can put in. On page 1, we colored in squares to show that they have to be square centimeters. Now we have 4 times 5, which is 20 square centimeters. So there's my three different drawings. Now you have two parts to do at the bottom. Which rectangle above has the greatest perimeter? So you get to go through and find the perimeter for these, fully knowing that if this is 20, this is 20. If this is 1, this is 1. If this rectangle has 2 here, it's got to have 2 there. If it has 10 there, it's got to have 10 there because opposite sides are equal. So the last one, 4 and then five. So your measurements are in, you just gotta find the perimeter, figure out which one is the greatest, and then uh, how do you know just by looking at its shape based on your drawing? And that's gonna be an interpretation of what you believe. And then at the bottom for B, you'll say which rectangle above has the smallest perimeter? How do you know just by looking at the shape? So uh, this is what you're gonna be doing uh, to finish off this lesson homework. You'll finish off A and B. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps, and good luck on the rest of your homework.